Hi everyone, it's Rosella. I'm here tonight with two wedding gowns that I'm going to offer as um, for sale as is first. And then if no one buys them, I will do my thing with them. Cut them up. Yay! <laughs> okay, so bear with me. The lighting in my room is not conducive to um, showing gowns unfortunately and I'd like to say well I'll wait until tomorrow and do it in the daylight but it's probably going to be gloomy and overcast tomorrow so that probably won't help either so what I'm going to do is show you these dresses hanging up and then I will actually put them on my lap and show you some of the details so that you can see better this first gown we have here I am calling Tasha and it is despite how it looks probably on this video pure white it is in perfect shape except for one flaw which I will show to you. Um, it is by Maury Lee is the, uh, the designer and it um, has short sleeves as you can see and just a chapel train so uh, basically a very short train to it. The sleeves have these uh, flower accents. I will show you those closer up in a minute. The bodice is quite heavily beaded. And the sequins are, I'm trying to see if they're clear, just clear or whether they're iridescent. I think they're iridescent. But I'm not going to say that for sure in this light. The skirt is tulle obviously has the um, polyester underneath it but the overskirt is tulle and is covered in appliques and this is one of them right here it is those the corded type of applique I believe these would be fairly simple to remove they usually are when there's they're just on tulle um, at the worst you'd have to fussy cut if you wanted to do that but as I said I'm presuming somebody might actually want this for display it really is very very gorgeous and I'm gonna pause the video and then I'll show you the back okay so here we have the back of the gown um, again pretty heavily beaded there are three roses at the uh, back of the waistline there it does have a zip um, and the back of the skirt is basically the same as the front some gowns have very heavy um, beading or appliques on the back that is not the case with this one the only flaw this gown has I'm gonna find it so I can show you is a rip in the tool right here that's the only thing I found okay and just so you know that is on sort of the side towards the back of the gown okay that's where it is where it sits you can certainly hide it with the train this is the train tool it doesn't go anywhere there's not really anything I can show you um, it doesn't it's not super easy to lay it out flat because it is tall, it's very lightweight. Um, it is a size 12. Bear in mind, bridal gowns run small, so it's closer to a, um, a 10 or even slightly smaller. Okay, so this is Tasha, and I'm going to pause the video and show you my second gown, which I think I named Penelope. I hope I haven't used that name before. I might have. Hang on. So here we have the second gown, Penelope. It is also pure white despite how it might look on the video. This is much more of a dated look, this dress, but it is beautifully clean. I have not found any problems with it. Um, I haven't looked super close at every inch of it, but it looks to be in excellent shape. Um, I suspect it was either not worn to a wedding or it was worn and then dry cleaned soon afterwards oh I should say too Tasha has a dry cleaning tag inside of it so it was um, dry cleaned 
So if we look at some detail here, it has sort of a, a v-neck. Um, you can see one little tiny string here that's nothing. Hang on a second. I just dropped the dress. Um, heavily, heavily beaded on the bodice. Then it has this piece here that sort of hangs down loose from the bodice. Uh, the beads are wh all white, the pearls, and the uh, sequins are clear and I'm not seeing any signs of aging on the sequins. The, it has these leg of mutton sleeves, so very puffy up here. There is a bow right here. I'm being really careful because I don't want to pull it off again. The, there are these um, like dangles, pearl dangles on the sleeve there. Uh, pearl buttons, and that's sort of what the sleeve looks like. There are some appliques here on the bottom of the skirt. This is not um, something that would be very easy to remove. I can tell just by looking at it. Um, and it also doesn't have sequins. Or has, no, it does have sequins, but not very many. Sorry, I can see a few. And then below that, we have these um, gathered layers. This is very. Um, fine, pretty sheer fabric as you can see. And then it's um, wired on the bottom. Okay, so that's what the front looks like. I'm going to pause the video and show you the back. Okay, it's, here we go. It's a little bit wonky, but I <laughs> think that'll be fine. As you can see, you have these two bows here on the back. And again, this is just a loose thread. It's um, it's not nothing's coming apart. It's just a, a thread there. Again, you can see that uh, draping of the or dangles on the sleeve there. Uh, has the requisite butt bow, which is plain other than just this little band of pearls there. There is there are some appliques, just the same as the ones on the front, and on the back here the ruffles go up all the way to here so I would guess oh, I'm trying to think where that would hit on the body higher than the knee I would guess oh god yes a lot higher than the knee sorry uh, <laughs> probably upper thighs okay so then you have this fall of this um, ruffled fabric and there are appliques in amongst the ruffles. These appliques are plain. There's no beading, no sequins. Okay, so there's a little bit of beading and sequins up there, and then as it comes down, there's none. Um, so there isn't, the hem is the ruffles. It's not an applique hem. The closest you get is through here. And again, this is the kind of applique that is uh, not beaded or sequined. So I'm going to pause the video again and then I'm going to show you some more details on both of these dresses and one of them comes with a, a veil so I'll show you that too. Okay this is this is still Penelope. Looks like, oh no I think it's fine. There's the bow on the sleeve. Get a good up close look at these details on the sleeve and they are completely loose too. Um, they're not, by which I mean, you know, they're not sewn down. They just hang. That's what that looks like. Get a better shot here of some of the work on the bodice. I'm guessing, sorry, I got my dog's barking. I'm guessing this is from 80s, 1980s, I would think. What do you guys think? Okay, so hold on, I'm going to do some more with the dogs. <laughs> Alright. Okay, you still may hear the dogs barking, but they're outside. <laughs> so this is the Tasha gown. Come on, focus. There we go. This is the back of the bodice. Give you a good look at what the uh, appliques look like. Close up on the rose there. Um, ah, I just found another small rip. Look right there. That's the problem with the tool. It is so delicate. 
um, this kind of tool is. This is not like this, the rough, um, heavy tool. This is like super lightweight and it's actually fairly soft. So there could possibly be a couple other small places like that that I haven't noticed. But this is the um, Tasha gown, like I said. And I'm going to show you the um, headpiece that comes with this. So it is a just a regular veil, just tool, nothing special about it. But the headpiece looks like this. So it has flowers and pearls and all that good stuff. And it actually does match this quite well, I think. Okay, so if you're interested in either of those, either of these gowns, give me a holler. I'm asking $85 for the Tasha gown, the one that you're looking at right now, and that includes U.S. shipping. And then the Penelope gown, $69, also including U.S. shipping. I will ship um, internationally. Obviously, I will just have to increase the price um, as far as the shipping part of it goes, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.